We're really giving students the opportunity to be the leaders for the agriculture industry. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putsey. We are here in Hilton Coliseum. We're here at the annual FFA State Convention. I'm visiting with two state officers, Mia Gibson of North Fayette Valley, uh, up there in West Union, and also with Ella Hamel, who is also a state North Central Vice President from Grundy Center. Mia, first of all, President of, of FFA, what has your year been like? Yeah, this year has been so tremendous and exciting. We've done so many things. Um, we have been able to interact with so many members. We've been on like over 150 chapter visits. We've been able to put on so many different contests and it's been a lot of fun. Um, just being able to be back in person fully. We're back in Ames for state convention for three years. So it's really exciting. So as a student at DMAC uh, and you're studying ag business, how has FFA helped you in your studies at DMAC and how is your time at DMAC impacting your role as a state president? Going into college, it was nice to have a good agriculture background. I also come from a beef farm, so that helps on a lot of aspects. Um, but it's nice that FFA and DMAC have a good cooperation together because um, our FFA Enrichment Center located in Ankeny is a place that I've worked for FFA and the place that I've gone to school for DMAC. So that's been a really fun and interesting as well. We've been neighbors with the yes, Iowa Soybean Association <laughs> and the FFA Enrichment Center being right beside each other in Ankeny. So Ella, you're currently enrolled at Iowa State University and you're the North Central Vice President for FFA. Tell me about your FFA experience thus far. So uh, I kind of got started with FFA through the Agri-Science Fair program, so I did research and competed with that and that's kind of how I got hooked and then I never left, I've loved FFA since. So um, that's got, what got me interested in ag. Um, I grew up on a fair to finish hog farm, we had corn soybeans, so I had that background. but. Um, that's where my passion came from and now I'm using that at Iowa State and I'm studying animal science so kind of looking to go into the ag field as well. And the Iowa Soybean Association is proud to be a gold standard partner of FFA. Why is it so important that organizations like the Iowa Soybean Association step up and support the organization that obviously means so much to you and the more than 16,000 other youth that are involved in FFA? I mean, I think it's really important because FFA is the premier leadership organization for high school students interested in agriculture. We're focused on getting students ready for the workforce in agriculture and outside of it. So by supporting the FFA, um, we're really giving students the opportunity to be the leaders for the agriculture industry. For young people that are not involved in FFA, Ella, how can they benefit from being involved? I would say that FFA has something for everyone, whether you have an ag background or not. Um, we have contests in public speaking, job interview, all of those uh, career skills that you're going to need whether or not you're in the ag field. So whether you're interested in some of those or our band and choir, there's music programs or uh, conference opportunities. There's leadership development opportunities for everyone and we welcome everyone. So, so Mia, you will be uh, wrapping up your term as state FFA president. What is going to be your message to the FFA family here today as you prepare to uh, move on to other endeavors. Yeah, for sure. This is actually my eighth state convention, so it's been an eight, eight full years, packed full, and what I've gained from that is to just try everything. Never say no because you'll never know how much you'll love something that you do, and don't let people hold you back from what you want to accomplish. And if there's a headline from your retiring address, Ella, what is it going to be? Um, so my retiring address is based around how we treat others and so it's called Chase Down Kindness and how our actions impact everyone around us. Well, as you can see, the future of agriculture, of ag business, of, of all kinds of professions is in really good hands with FFA and the Iowa Soybean Association is just proud to be a partner and to be involved. Reporting for the Iowa Soybean Association and the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putsey. Farming is a competitive business, and you need equipment you can count on every single day. That's why for nearly 90 years, farmers have entrusted their grain handling to Brandt Agricultural Products. Brandt's full line of hardworking conveyors, augers, grain carts, vacs, grain bagging equipment, and tillage equipment are made to deliver the competitive edge you need to lead the field and are manufactured here in the USA. For more information on our full line of products, visit Brandt.ca today.